Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where it's time for our second day here at Efteling and also the final vlog from our trip. It is indeed, but if you haven't already, check out the dedicated playlist for this trip. Yeah, we've had a great time here at Efteling, Fantasialand and Europa Park with lots of different vlogs. We've also had a big focus this trip on travel and how to get between these parks using public transport as well. We are back here at Efteling, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling a little bit better today. Oh. Oh, you got a bit more colour in your cheeks I today, know, Charlotte. Which is nice. Oh, but well, you know what? We're going to get back on quite a few different rides today that we've not done for a few years since it was last here, of course, back in July 2020. Along with that, we'll give you a bit of an update on a new ride that's coming in 2024, along with some changes that the park are making to their wooden roller coaster, Joys and the Dragons. Yeah, we'll have a look at that shortly. But we're going to start off with a ride on the park's water coaster built by Comeback. Uh, yeah, it's the Flying Dutchman. Oh, I love this ride. It's great that it's open for winter season uh, fantastic when I did winter season a few years ago this was closed so it's nice how it's open you might be thinking hang on a minute a water coaster well to be honest you hardly get wet at no, all you don't, which is good. <laughs> you'll be fine on it <laughs> but so uh, yeah come and join us we'll take you on for a POV that's the thing here at Efteling you can film on all the different rides and so uh, yeah our day one vlogs packed full of POVs and we'll have more coming up in this video starting off with the water coaster flying Dutchman let's go and there's just a five minute wait this morning for this awesome ride. It's beautifully themed. It's also got a fantastic soundtrack. And yeah, look at the show building for this. Really impressive. You've got some indoor scenes that are very atmospheric. And of course you make your way to the outdoor sections of the ride and over onto the lake. And there it is, one of the most gorgeous stations in theme park history. Really nice in there. I like how you queue all through these buildings here, the other side of the windows. And look down there into the station. Yeah, built by Comeback. And yeah, as you can see, when it's busy, it can load both sides as well. Dual loading. Let's go and have a ride and we'll take you on. It's like the fog's coming in. It's so atmospheric in here. Because all you've got is this little lantern here on the front and then all the mist comes in like the camera doesn't do it justice inside and then all of a sudden you come around the corner you've got all this water in front of you and like this big ship like it's terrifying it's really good very atmospheric amazing and yeah what you don't actually realize is is that this whole ride runs on a track there isn't a trough um, underneath here like yeah it's all track very interesting ride system fantastic and yeah, when we come off, we'll have a little look over here. The Oris and the work that's going on just here. As you can see, they're working up there right now. What a ride. Right, 
Cody's there from the Flying Dutchman and I tell you what the camera doesn't do that justice it's so dark inside there but what a beautiful attraction that is. It's fantastic it makes it even better when you're sat on the front with just a little lantern. Yeah it's all really happy with the theme outside and the music in the station like this little harbour area and then it takes quite a dark turn because yeah like Charlotte said you've got that mist at the front. It's quite scary to be honest. It is yeah and it's great at storytelling that attraction without any dialogue at all. Um, it's all told by the music and the props that you're seeing because you see them big ships you go around the corner and then yeah it's like a foggy stormy night the lightning comes in um, and then yeah you see this face appear up there in the waterfall and then up the lift hill into the outdoor section to try and escape it's a really good storyline behind that attraction with some amazing theming it's also got a great throughput as well uh, the boats are flying around yeah, here that's why they call it the flying dutchman yeah. <laughs> but yeah also in the station it wasn't even that busy and they just opened up the other side that's the thing with Efteling they really want to get their attractions really open good. and uh, get people through them as fast as they can do but yeah it's a lovely ride and like I say it was built by Comeback uh, it fascinates me so much how it's literally coaster track um, all the way under the water you can see it there behind us and yeah like all this here like there's no trough like I find it fascinating it's literally a roller coaster um, underneath the water too like amazing like how it doesn't rust us I don't know but uh, what an amazing ride great to get back on there storytelling at its best beautifully themed great throughput what's not to love it's a flying Dutchman right then let's talk about a project that's ongoing here at the park right now and that is the addition of Titan Track over onto their wooden roller coaster George and the Dragon now this opened back in 2010 it's a great coasters international GCI set of wooden coasters that race and duel with each other it's really good fun actually um, how they interact with each other all the way around and uh, yeah what they're actually doing over the next few years is replacing some of the track with the steel version from GCI which is now known as Titan Track so yeah you can actually see that's ongoing as we speak today yeah, we knew that it was going to be closed this trip. It's been advertised to be closed, nice and clear on Efteling's website. They do say when attractions are going to be down. But you can just get a look there at the wooden track on the right and then the new Titan track there on the left. I've got to say, I'm not really a massive fan of this. I mean, I much prefer the traditional wooden roller coaster aspect of this. And yeah, obviously it's going to help improve maintenance and reliability on the ride. Well, the thing is, it's not really going to be a wooden roller coaster anymore. I mean, some people would disagree, but for me, I'm not a huge fan of this whole Titan track idea. But we'll go and have a little look a bit closer and see what we can see around the corner. There goes Python. And yeah, this pathway is closed off under here at the moment, just whilst they're working on Yoris. And yeah, as you can see, the team up there on the track sections above the station. Changing it over now. This is a multi-year project, so it's not all going to be done when this ride reopens this time it's going to be done over the next few years replacing with this titan track but yeah let me know your thoughts down below in the video comments like i say i'm not really a huge fan i have also experienced this titan track on white lightning at fun spot in orlando because it's on a section of that coaster and yet it just doesn't feel like a wooden coaster as much you know you can tell so yeah i'm really not too sure how i feel about this the good thing is though f telling are always bringing in new things always trying new stuff I do appreciate that and obviously it does mean that this ride is going to be more reliable so yeah it'd be interesting to see how that's going to be when it's done and of course we'll give it a ride next time we're here at this park but yeah just a first look really at this new GCI Titan track here it's going to be interesting are we going to see this used on any other GCI wooden roller coasters you know obviously we know that Alton Towers with Wicker Man is a GCI could we see them maybe install that onto there at some point it'll be interesting to see but yeah, I hope not personally. I do prefer the traditional wooden coaster. If you're going with a Titan track, it may as well be, you know, an RMC hybrid coaster. And obviously they feature inversions and stuff, whereas this obviously doesn't. So yeah, I'm not sure how to feel about it, but we'll see how it rides. Just thought we'd give you a bit of an update on that here at Efteling. The new Titan track on George and the Dragon going into place. More nice fire pits just around here then as well. And yeah, you've got the little winter market stalls that'll probably be open again later on all the Christmas trees around here. Like I mentioned in the day one vlog, there's not loads of Christmas decorations here at Winter Efteling, but it's still just got a really nice wintry festive vibe about here. And especially in the accommodation where we've been staying at the Bosrex. So yeah, make sure you check out the video if you haven't already seen it. But uh, here we go. Gonna have a go on this absolutely massive swinging ship just over here now. Really nice ride. And Charlotte's gonna get a bit of off-ride footage of me in action on here. Oh, of course. <laughs> and I'll take you on. A bit of an on-ride POV. Look at the size of that beauty. Yeah, one of the biggest in the world. I think someone said there's one in China now that's bigger. 
but still, this is absolutely massive. Look at that, it's gorgeous to look at. Here we go then, walk straight on. Yeah, this ship is absolutely massive. I like how you got some nice festive wreaths over there as well. Charlotte's over there gonna be getting some off ride shots on this huge pirate ship. Hey. <laughs> there she is. What's really good about this one is how they actually have a separate queue line for the back three rows on each side. So yeah, you can queue up longer if you want to be higher up on the ship, which I think is really good. Hey. It's absolutely huge this one is, it goes so high. How high it goes. Whoa. Great views over there as well, Python. Woo! Big ride. Hey. Yeah, I do like how they've got the little building at the side as well. That really makes it, in my opinion. Looks really pretty. Hey. Nearly a full swing, I think, now. Probably this next one. There we go. Hey. Ooh, not as cold today either, which is good. Woo! Of course, we're going to be having a stroll through the fairy tale forest soon as well. We're going to see Long Neck, the goats, and many more inhabitants. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll give you an update on the new attraction that's coming as well Dance Macabre. <laughs> oh, it's a good high swinger, this one. Lovely. Woo, great cycle as well. Woo! Oh, it's a fantastic swinging ship, that is. Really enjoyed that. And yeah, great long cycle as well. There's another view looking at Baron 1898. And yeah, some more lovely festive decorations just here. I like these. They have a little stove down here as well. Cooking Charlotte a stew on top there, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a nice little photo ops. What have we got in there? What is it? I'm not quite sure, but it's green. One of them has sausages on, we saw, yeah, didn't we? Quite good. <laughs> yeah, these look nice. There's snow covered trees just here as well. Yeah, nice little decorations around for winter Efteling. And yeah, of course, a lot of the attractions are open. Um, but yeah, obviously, Yaris is closed um, for that retracking work that they're currently doing. Piranha was supposed to be open but it's unfortunately closed <laughs> <laughs> uh, i should have gone on it as soon as we got here because it was open for the first couple of hours like the first night when we arrived I would not have been going oh but yeah piranha which is uh, an intimate rapids yeah it's shame it, it, you can get wet on there pretty wet actually <laughs> but yeah it's probably a wise idea for charlotte not to be going on there especially with how she's been feeling but uh, yeah, there's lots of great family attractions here, it really is. Dream Flight, like we mentioned yesterday, that's shut at the moment for refurbishment, um, but we'll be back open um, next year. So yeah, looking forward to getting back on that at some point in the future as well. But, yeah, it's a very pretty park. You can see with all the lakes just here as well. You've got Pagode just over there. Obviously we went on that back in the day one vlog. Symbolica just over there as well. And yeah, here's a look at this massive lantern that Charlotte's got. <laughs> yeah, these are nice, how long did they put out? There we go, a little piece of decor for the winter season. These big lanterns just here, very nice. And yeah, you've also got a very long 20 minute boat ride called Gondoletta, which is just there on the lake as well. It's not really themed, however, um, it's more relaxing, gentle boat ride. It's important to have stuff like that in theme parks in our opinion. But yeah, actually they've made another change since we were last here, and that's just down in this direction. So we're gonna go and check that out now. Um, basically, there used to be a ride here called Monsieur Cannibal. Uh, that has now been rethemed and changed into Sinbad. So yeah, this looks a lot better in my opinion with the theming now. It. Yeah, it looks really good. It's got a great soundtrack as well. I've been listening to it online. So we're gonna go and check that out now. This ride's quite cute, just over here as well. Uh, it's like a little train ride. And then yeah, you just pedal your way around. No motors, no electric, you pedal your way around. For winter, they actually used to turn that into like a little skiing area. I remember doing it a few years ago, but yeah, they haven't done that this time. I'm not sure if they'll do that again in the future, but yeah, that was quite good fun. Sort of a bit different then to the summer offering.
Now last time that we were here, there was a hedge maze in this location here that had a little entrance off the pathway. And you go through that, now it's a new play area. And yeah, in the summer, I know it's a water play area. Obviously at this time of year, they have the water features turned off. But yeah, it looks really nice what they've done around here. And here's the entrance to Sirocco just over here. And yeah, it looks really good what they've done with all this. Let's have a walk down the queue line and go and have a ride. But yeah, all the nice tropical planting looks great. Like I said, the soundtrack is amazing to this as well. But yeah, I know that there's all the water features normally all around here. I saw some footage of it back in the summer. But yeah, I think this was a much needed change here for the park. So I'm glad that they did it. Fits in a lot better now. It's more of a themed area here than it was before. And that's the thing, when they do this sort of stuff, they always go to town. Like, look at all the nice wooden beams, the nice details on the lighting just there as well. You can just see the back of the Winter Village there as well. We're going to have a look in there during this vlog, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, look at the boats just here, really nicely detailed. And they look fantastic. Lots hanging up there at the top to look at as well. Yeah, it looks a lot better than it did before. So yeah, we'll take you on for a ride. Here we go, on Sirocco. Look at all that fruit just up there. I got some bananas. In fact, Charlotte's brought some nice juicy bananas in here behind you there. There you go. Got some oranges in there as well. Love it. Yeah, great soundtrack. Done a really nice job with this. These spinning boats just here. Obviously, you just spin this and you'll spin more again. Oh, are you holding it then? Yeah. There we go. No. Oh, has it not been activated yet? Oh, I see. There we go. There it is now. There we go. Great lighting effect in here as well. It's like the waves of the ocean. Ooh. Big uh, load of fish just up there. <laughs> Fishy. God, they're getting a good spin, they are there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Hey, that's how to do it. Spin you too much, really not feeling very well. <laughs> That's the thing with these sort of rides, you don't have to spin really fast. You just appreciate the nice decor, music, lighting. Yeah, this is really good. Oh, a lot better than it used to be. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Like I say, it completes the themed area a lot better now. Vogel Rock just over there. Awesome indoor coaster. Oh, lighting's coming in. that it's always nice when parks turn a flat ride into an experience and that's what they've done with this looks amazing with the soundtrack and yeah I like this boat just over here the fact that it's not static as well it's actually rocking about in the water brilliant to see I think it looks really nice like I said the soundtrack it was a big part of the experience you got some new lights down here as well some lanterns lovely that it does yeah you've got a few new lanterns here as well around the side it all fits more now with the theme and of course there's the vogel we've had another ride on there just as well ah, watch out for the birds charlotte they'll yeah. come and get you fantastic indoor coaster really is obviously a bit busier today with it being the weekend as well so we continue on here at efteling but yeah lovely there's pagode oh it looks so majestic doesn't it absolutely love pagode fantastic here we go then, whilst we're on our way down this pathway, we thought we'd come and have a look inside the Winter Village. Yeah, normally this is just grass during the main season, but yeah, for winter, they put this village on here. Oh, it sounds like something's starting actually around here. It's actually got a little queue line here, so it must get busy. But yeah, all the trees, looks amazing, this does. Yeah, they put it in just for the winter season here at Efteling. Yeah, and this actually used to be inside a big tent. I personally think this looks a lot better now, having it outside like this. Yeah, they've got a little stage around here, lots of different stalls. And yeah, some entertainment as well. Smell all the fires around here. Oh, really nice. Look at this. What a setup. Okay. <laughs> nice little sleigh just over here as well. We know that Pardus comes in here sometimes as well. We did see him there, didn't we, the other day, which is good. Lovely seeing Pardus. Well, yeah, it's nice all the stalls around here. Proper festive Christmas market. 
you go, little stalls just over there. And yeah, you can have a photo in the lovely Efteling sleigh. Just there, that's really nice that. Yeah, this is where parties comes and there's a meet and greet. Right next door, you got a little merchandise stall as well. This we go. This is the F Town Christmas Jumper. 35 euros, just there. It's not too bad, actually. Yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it? There, got some cake on it. it. Makes me hungry. Yeah, I like how they got all the little stalls around here. Got some games in the middle as well. Yeah, it's basically like the Christmas markets that you go and find out there. But here in the park, got lots of little bits of seating around here as well. And also, we've got the ice skating rink around here as well, so I'll have a little look at that. And Charlotte was feeling better, she was going to go ice skating. Oh, bit of a sing song. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were going to have a go, weren't you? Because it's only €2.50. Like, really cheap that is. Like, all three parks have done this trip, the ice skating's been really cheap. But yeah, €2.50. Like, fantastic value. That's where you get your skates from, just there. And yeah, here's a look at the ring just over here. We're going to have a closer look. So you can see it. We've got the souvenir stall over here as well. Yeah, I just think this is really pretty. Looks even better at night as well. Obviously with all the lights. But yeah, the fact all the trees are snow covered really makes it. They also sell some nice Efteling Christmas decorations over here. I'll have a look at those in a second. And yeah, here's the ice skating rink. There we go. See, it's quite an interesting shape because it's all the way around here. I like how they got the benches there as well. That's where I'd be sitting. That's and then funny. Using chairs. Using chairs instead of like the penguin. Oh, that's quite funny, isn't it? It's using like chairs. Being in hot ice. Yeah, there you go. Well, yeah, so the ice skating ring, like I say, it's a funny shape. It runs all the way around there and it comes all around this side here as well. And then further around the corner. So, yeah, it's nice. God, they're getting going. To be honest, people seem like they're doing all right on here. A, a big routine, but unfortunately, <laughs> it won't be happening. Today. Oh no, you're joking, no big routine from Charlotte. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it's a really nice setup here. I love how they're using chairs, it's quite funny that. Yeah, do you reckon that's because they, they just didn't want to get proper things? Or no, uh, I don't know, if people just grabbed them and hoped for the best? Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it's a really nice setup. I love how they don't rip you off at these parks when it comes to like, well, anything really, but especially when it comes to ice skating. They're amazing. And yeah, it's a great area this is around here. Yeah, it's obviously all the floors done with all the wood chippings as well. It's beautiful. And we saw this set up in the shop in the day one vlog. It looks even better here because they've got everything out. All the miniatures that you can buy now. Like this is amazing. The House of Five Cents is there. Long net, the carousel, pagode. Like, oh, I love this. And yeah, it's even better set up. Let's go and have a little look inside this shop. Loads of great ornaments here. You can get the tree just there from the fairy tale forest. I was going to be heading into there soon. My favourite just here. 17 euros 50. It's quite expensive. But you can get long neck just there. <laughs> oh, how amazing is that? And then we will be able to do it. And then we will be able to Love the Winter Village. I think it's a really nice addition to the event. And yeah, it's very festive around there with all the trees, the ice skating, and the stalls as well. But yeah, just come around the corner now. I love coming into here because I really appreciate how this park celebrates its heritage. It is, of course, the Efteling Museum. This is something that so many parks around the world could do, but don't. And I'm looking back at some of the parks back home, especially Alton Towers and Blackpool Pleasure Beach, that have got so much history to them. I'd love to see a setup like this in those parks. Uh, a museum that you can just walk in, come and see it all. And of course, yeah, this is also something I'm trying to establish as well with the British Theme Park Museum, and more updates coming from that soon. But uh, yeah, come and look at this. It's really nice in here. There's all sorts in here from over the years throughout the park's history. Like, look at all these different moulds just up here. Carousel horse just there as well. Alligator hanging upside down. Like, how nice is this? And what a way to just display it all. Like, all the cabinets just here as well. And more parks should do this. Yeah, 100%. It looks really good. Yeah, it's really nice in here. Some of these look very creepy. 
Like all the standing on their own, but yeah, I love it. Really nice, just appreciating all the heritage. And there's something quite special just outside here as well. So there's lots of old pictures inside here as well, showing the park from over the years. And also, some nice concept art on display on the walls here, such as this one for Baron 1898. I remember that being released online and thinking, blimey, you know, that looks like it's gonna be really interesting. Like, I can't imagine it's gonna look anything like that in real life. And obviously we found out that, uh, yeah, it did when it got built. And all this support structure, the station just here, amazing design, but yeah, I love how they've got all this in here for people to see, all these designs. And you come outside into this little courtyard area and casually just here, there's a piece of the old Python track. Like I say, it did get retracked partially back in 2018. We've got a nice original piece just here that you can see and uh, stand with as well, there you go. <laughs> Great photo opportunity for Charlotte there. It gives you an idea on the size and scale of this track. Right? Amazing to see, there you go. Some good old Vacoma track just there on display here at the Efteling Museum. Love it, yeah, I wish more parks would do that. A nice little stroll there around the Efteling Museum. Yeah, it's lovely over there, it really is. And here we go, we're gonna have a little look inside this building now that's home to the steam carousel. I do like the little fountain package that we've got here as well. And we're gonna make our way shortly into the fairy tale forest, which I'm really looking forward to. It's always a nice stroll. You could spend all day in there if you really wanted. You see many characters along the way. Including Long Neck. Long Neck, Mildred, the goats playing Monopoly. There's gonna be loads. Oh, I cannot wait. Yeah, it's gonna be fantastic. We love it around here. But yeah, I also love it inside here. This building's very impressive. And you got the nice steam carousel just inside here as well. So we get a bit of footage of it for you. Just over in here, look at this. Ooh, very busy in here. Lovely building. Yeah, look at that in the middle there, really nice. All the roof, all the lights, so pretty. So beautiful in here, and even better at Christmas time with all the nice garlands and lights are just there as well. Yeah, really pretty in here. All the music, just really authentic. And yeah, I love all the artwork on the walls as well. Really nice part of Efteling just inside here. And also in this same building, you've also got a diorama next door, which is well worth walking through. So we'll have a little stroll through there before we make our way into the fairy tale forest here at Efteling. Great to be back at this park, it really is. And here it is, right next door. And here you got all the models inside here. Very nice. The train's all running round in here as well. And yeah, this is decorated really nice in here. For winter as well. All the windmills just up there. Like a little cable car going up the mountains. Yeah, I've always loved models like this and like model villages and that sort of thing. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Runs all the way round both sides. It goes to like night mode around there as well, which is cool. All the little trains running round. It's really pretty. Oh, it's lovely in there. It really is. And up next, it's time for a stroll through the fairy tale forest. And Charlotte here absolutely loves this sign just I there. I really like this sign. They actually change it for winter season as well. Lovely. Yeah, how nice is that? A lovely sign. There's long neck on there as well. There's the other characters. Should we it's make so our way in? So yeah, this is a lovely experience, and this is how the park started off back in the day. Um, 70 years ago, in fact, 70 years of F telling. Oh, uh, it's so amazing. Good. Yeah, they've got some nice 70th merch and stuff as well. I actually love the happy birthday video they did on YouTube and TikTok. They are like singing happy birthday and party hats and everything. So and it was also the ride music. Like, my favourite part was on Piranha's turntable. I thought that was good. Um, yeah, 70 years of F telling. Really special part for many people. And uh, yeah, this really is a fantastic place to come. Yeah, it's lovely. I love the ferry our forest you could literally spend all day around here if you wanted to well of course I have a nice little stroll around and show you some of the highlights you can see long neck himself and uh, yeah there's so much more around here yeah and like Charlotte said the goats are playing monopoly now we I think believe playing monopoly. <laughs> brilliant let's go and have a look there's so many different fairy tales that you walk through and can see here and that's the thing it's not just looking at things it's walking through and interacting with like you can walk up through this big toadstool house just here as well there's lots of little animatronics and water features and yeah, it's a really magical experience around here. All the music as well really adds to it, which is really cool. 
I do like all the little buildings and design of it. And yeah, like F selling wouldn't be the part that it is today without this round here. Doing a bit of washing. There you go. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's done. Uh, there you go. That looks nice and clean, that. Yeah. <laughs> I like how it's all foamy in there as well. She even decorated for Christmas on a little house. And here he is, the main event himself. Our favourite part of F telling just here. Long neck. And there we are. He looks very wintry. He's got his nice woolly hat on just there and his scarf as well. He used to have an icicle coming from him. Maybe he dresses differently every winter. The fact is though, he's got this massive long neck. His scarf doesn't cover his neck. I know, yeah, surely he gets a cold he, neck. He's got to get a cold neck. Yeah. <laughs> he is amazing. Look at him just there. Oh, we love him. Absolutely love him. We've got an amazing model. The one the designers here made for us like last time we were here. Oh, it's so good. It's amazing. Custom made as well for us, wasn't it? Which was amazing. Oh, oh we do love him. Everybody loves him. He's such an F-telling classic. And there we go. I think he's nearly fully stretched out just there now. I like how his eyes move as well. And he's looking around, seeing everybody. He never smiles, though. <laughs> what a legend. Oh, it's nice to see him. Oh, no, there, there we go. He's got longer with his winter hat on there as well. I thought he was fully extended. But no, he's like, that's it. Sean and Charlotte are here. I'm going to fully extend my neck. Uh, look at that. Like, hey, God, he's amazing. What we like as well is how you can just see his head poking over from the pathway. Like when you're walking down the main path here to all Symbolica. And then you can just see his head poking out. He's all lit up at night as well. Still going. going more. Honestly, what a legend. I like how they changed the music around here for winter as well. And they put the festive toadstools out just here as the speakers. Covered in snow just there. <laughs> oh, nice. And there's so many like little pathways that all go off a main central path. Lots to see. Whoa, look at the size of him just here. There's actually somebody inside his mouth just there as well. There we go, down there. You're right in there. Hello, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Pinocchio. He's gone. Ay, 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 ay. Has Rapunzel just up there as well in the tower? And yeah, the good thing is as well with this is that it does cater for international visitors because all of the books that you can see there have got the translation into various different languages, including English as well, which is fantastic. <laughs> and that's the thing, these just keep continually rolling as well, so you don't have to wait around long to see the full fairy tale come to life. <laughs> Love the dragon around here as well, on top of the building just there. We were trying to get the treasure. <laughs> Well, we've already seen Longneck, who's one of our favourites, but here we go. We've got the one, the only Mildred the Goat, back here on Theme Park Worldwide. Goes wearing coats. Hey, goes, goes wearing, wearing dresses. dresses. Yeah. Goes wearing hey, it's wearing shorts. Oh, I know you all like a bit of goats wearing coats. And this goat literally is wearing a dress, a dress just there. Oh. And a coat, technically, a little throw. How are you doing? Are you okay? What's that? Oh, she likes you. Oh, I'm glad that you do, Mildred. Like the song, didn't you? Fantastic. Yeah, she loved, she loved the song. Oh, how amazing. Goat animatronic just here. And is it, what, there's more goats this way for us to see? Fantastic. We'll go and see your friends then. See you soon. <laughs> and here's all the lovely goats. Yeah, normally they're playing Monopoly, but yeah, as you can see just here, they got a nice Christmas dinner down there as well. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, they were playing, I think it was after the Monopoly they were playing at one point. <laughs> oh, I do love the goats. But be careful, goats, there's a wolf trying to get you. No, oh, I love it to see the goats here at Afterling just oh, there. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> yeah, they got to be careful though, that wolf. Oh no, I am trying to get them. for them, to be honest. <laughs> oh, it's always nice to have a stroll around here in the fairy tale forest. And yeah, we'll continue on, lots more to see, some more favourites of ours coming up. Oh, it smells so good around here. It smells like loads of sweets and treats. And yeah, that's the thing, they also add smell pods around here as well, to make it even more magical and authentic. Here she is, and a nice little pillow just up there. <laughs> Hello, that's it. <laughs> that's a good impression, that was. Oh, here she goes. Hey. I do like how they had some nice little festive decorations throughout the forest here as well. What's he saying, Charlotte? Go on. Yeah. <laughs> go on, that's it. He's going to go toilet, that's what he's saying. He's pointing at the toilets. <laughs> some more lovely buildings just around here as well. It's always a funny one. You've got the pooping donkey just over here as well, <laughs> where a coin comes out. There we go. <laughs> oh, I love it. Honestly, it's so unique. Well, there's also now a little ride here in the fairy tale forest where you can go on board one of the six swans just here. It's only a very small little boat ride that takes you into the building there behind, but I thought we'll go on it because we've not actually been on this before. So yeah, we'll take you on for a little ride. It's only very short, it just goes in a circle. Yeah, I thought, why not? Let's have a look. It's the only ride here in the fairy tale forest. Here we go, time for another Charlotte song, I think, whilst we're on this one. Swans on the river. Hey! Swans are walking about. <laughs> Swans wearing hats. <laughs> oh, I love it, you get all the classic songs in on this one. Right, let's go. And when we say a very small ride, we do mean very small. It's basically a flat ride in a way, because it just goes round in a circular motion. And yeah, obviously the motor is in this part here. It's like a very slow flat ride. It just takes you round into here, but obviously, if you don't want to go on the swans, you can just walk around and see this, I believe, as well. Yeah, the swans were here last time. Been here for a few years now, but we didn't go on it because it was closed, I think, when we came. Six swans. It's, it's a big dart ride. Very impressive. Could rival Symbolica. <laughs> nice little boat ride, that. Like in all seriousness, it does add something else to the fairy tale forest, which oh, is good. It does. Yeah, I like it. There we go. <laughs> what have we got over here then? Oh. Land on it These little white doves just over here. I think. Can, can you buy food or has she got food there? Oh, just be able to buy it from over there. There you go. Normally, we have some big peacocks around here as well. We did see one sat on a bench earlier on somewhere else in the park, but yeah, not down here. Mini Aquanora just there as well in the middle. <laughs> yeah, really nice. Do you like that? All the pigeons are coming in, the pesky pigeons. So much to see around here in the fairy tale forest. Back there, you've got a show venue. There's the dancing water lilies as well. And then we've got this giant just here as well. And a great photo opportunity just over here as well with the giant socks, I think they are, just there. Massive socks. There he is. It always looks really nice and clean and well maintained around here as well. It's a big area for them to maintain. Lots of movements, like little animatronics and stuff as well. Oh, you're all right in there. Yeah. <laughs> Rumpelstiltskin going on just over here. So many details. You alright in there? 
Oh, I love him up there in the tree trunk. <laughs> really cool. Quite creepy, but cool. <laughs> Round here now to see another one of Charlotte's favourites just here. The tree. Oh, you can also buy the tree oh, in the no, shop. No, they do like a Christmas edition of The talking tree. Another big highlight of the fairy tale forest. Dat wolven heksen altijd maar te pakken proberen te krijgen. Ze besloten vaak hier om hulp te vragen. Drie keer moet je stampen. Stampen jullie mee? Ik love how all these branches Drie. gently blow there as well. Vaak hier verscheen en luisterde naar de wens van Benjamin en Klein Duimpje. Ze wilde graag dat alles anders werd. Vaak hier zei dat hij het maar een gevaarlijke wens vond. Well, we're coming towards the end of the fairy tale forest now, and yeah, it's one of my favourites just here. I love this. So he starts off down there, and he comes up, and he flies across here on a magical flying carpet, goes into this tower, comes down, then goes back up, turns around, comes back over this way. <laughs> here he is. It wouldn't be a visit to Efteling without seeing him just floating across just there on his flying carpet <laughs> over to the other tower to do exactly the same thing very clever you can't really see the cable running across there you have to look very very carefully to see it yeah i think because they have that pattern at the back just there carefully hides it what's a legend oh it's always nice coming back here to wrestling and having a walk around the fairy tale forest and seeing all of our favorites there as well oh it's just so lovely in there there's a lot going on yeah it's nice to finally go on the swan ride as well it's only a short little ride but it's something nice. in there yeah it's nice just something else in the middle as well to kind of break up the experience uh, i really like it and yeah i think it's a really nice part of the park it really is it feels huge in there and like i say if you wanted to hear every story and see every fairy tale hours. hours and hours maybe even a full day to be honest like it's amazing around there definitely i love it yeah it's how the park all started 70 years ago and it's still going strong today really busy people love it and what we noticed from observation it's kind of like seems like generations of people come here yeah which is like really nice to see yeah a lot of people have photos where they did as a kid and stuff like that and come back as an adult to have photos their kids. yeah it just kind of like keeps that circle keeps really? going around yeah it's fantastic it's lovely it really is up next then we're here for a ride on the park steam train which takes for a nice scenic tour around Efteling. Played about 10 minutes for it. Yeah, genuine steam train, you'll see it down the front there, the loco. What's great about this park is there's so many different areas for indoor dining as well. That's something that we really missed at Fantasyland, especially with how cold it's been. Yeah, lots of indoor seating. Which you really need on these cooler days. There's also so many places to get food at this park, like little snack carts and that sort of thing. So it means you don't normally wait too long to get something to eat, which is good. Yeah, I do like all this area, the very traditional part of the park. So a nice little tour around, but yeah, you've got a variety of different carriages. You've got the indoor ones just there. I'm wearing one of the open carriages just here, Charlotte. This <laughs> one. Our final few hours here at Efteling. It's been really nice getting back here though. Such a magical, special park. It's one that I've just kept enjoying even more and more since I first came back in 2015. Yeah, the 
best selling hotels just over there as well. The original accommodation here. Yeah, it's behind this building, just to the right. Yeah, talking about Italian accommodation, they are building the brand new hotel. We'll see that a little bit later on during the train journey. <laughs> There's also a station down here at the back of the park, down by the swinging ship and also Python as well. Remain seated here though and continue on doing the loop round. <laughs> Such an iconic roller coaster python there, isn't it? Yeah, we stopped in the station for about five minutes. And yeah, of course, we showed you earlier on how they're adding the Titan track over onto Joys and the Dragon. Well, yeah, you can see some other wooden sections just here as well that have been replaced on the ride because, yeah, it's a multi year thing. So obviously, some of the wooden sections are also getting replaced, and yeah, they're stored just here. They're going to see how the Titan track works for them moving forwards. I'm so glad the retracks Python back in 2018. It's a very iconic ride. Staple attraction here at this park. All these years on. Can't be the smell of a good classic steam train as well. But we might get to see that Titan track a little bit closer just here now. Teams working on it. Big job, huge job. And there's the crane down here as well. When they need it, there we go. You can see all that section there still waiting to be done. Up there at the top. Look forward to getting back on it though and seeing how it rides. It's a good fun layout. The fact you've got the two tracks, of course, that interact with each other. I was in the site offices just there. And let's look at the, both the lift hills. Baron 1898 just over there as well. A couple of POVs from that BM dive coaster over in the day one block. And yeah, that's Piranha just there. Like I say, it is closed because it's too cold. Missed out my chance of getting on there, but I think Charlotte's quite happy about that, to be honest. It wouldn't have done any good going on there, though. <laughs> it's a good long train ride you get here, though, at the park. Start making our way now down towards the main entrance. Also in the day one vlog, we watched Aquanora, the fountain show. It features some fire as well, which is really good. And yeah, I mentioned yesterday and earlier on briefly how they're building a new hotel. Well, this is going to be the location of it right over here. So yeah, it's going to be opening 2024. And yeah, it's going to look out over the park, which is going to be amazing. Really look forward to it. And what's quite interesting is they're going to be putting like a new pathway through the middle of it. Uh, a bit like Disneyland Paris in a way, how you walk into the park. So yeah, you'll actually be able to walk through the middle section underneath the hotel. Yeah, it's going to be built just the other side of this fence just here. So yeah, very exciting. Yeah, it's kind of the pathway will start maybe here in line with this walkway. Yeah, and this will be kind of underneath the hotel. So yeah, I look forward to that. Yeah, you get to see some of the foundations that are going in place there as well for the Efteling Grand Hotel. So yeah, I imagine the entrance will kind of be on this side and it's going to be a long way just here, yeah, it's gonna be really nice. Look forward to that. All this before was just parking, there was a toilet block there. I think there were some kennels there as well. Have you been to the Hotel? Oh, we have, yes. Oh, really? yeah. <laughs> Is that really expensive? Uh, it's nice, it's worth it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we just had a lovely ride around there on the steam train here at F-Telling. It wasn't this train just behind us, but I just thought I'd show you in the background, because why not? Ride, that it is. is, it's great, and yeah, it takes about 20 minutes or so to do the full tour around. There is just the two stations one down here by Ravelin, Villa Volta, and the other one down by Python, and the uh, swinging chip just there. <laughs> uh -oh. 
Now, of course, I've mentioned it quite a few times now throughout our couple of vlogs here from F-Telling. And yes, just want to talk about the new attraction that's opening in 2024. It's going to be known as Dance Macabre. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to experiencing this. Now, before I talk a bit about what the ride's going to be, firstly, let's just talk a little bit about what used to stand on this site. Now, we mentioned earlier on uh, when we was in the fairy tale forest that that's how F-Telling started. Well, this was actually the first attraction to be built outside the fairy tale forest really spook slots if you remember no remember the haunted it, castle really haunt. yeah so you went in it wasn't a ride so to speak it was a walk through yeah. uh, with some beautiful music and all these different animatronic figures all together um, and don't get me wrong it was very impressive 1978 that opens yeah, it's quite a long time. and it only closed back in September 2022 so it operated for a long period of time here at the park and yeah most of it has now been demolished as we can see actually if we come over to the gate just here yeah, we can see how, yeah, it's all being demolished other than this little part just off to the left-hand side that is still standing. I believe it's still standing for some reason. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see what they're gonna do with the little bit of building that we can see still just over there. But uh, yeah, spook slot closed. Um, basically the park said that, you know, they wanted to update the experience and bring it more into modern times. Now, I know for a lot of people, it's quite a controversial decision. Big piece of history the park have took out. Yeah. Long. Yeah, 1978. However, they are replacing it with something what looks amazing. Here's a little look at some animation footage that the park revealed only a few weeks ago, actually. And yeah, this ride system looks very interesting. It's unique. It's been built by Intamin. It's going to be a spinning ride um, in this large show building. But the good thing is, it's still going to have that traditional music that the attraction Spook Slot had on this site before. And I've got to say, I mean, I had no real kind of um, attachment to Spook Slot because, you know, I'm not from the Netherlands. I didn't visit here many years ago. Uh, however, I can completely understand uh, the nostalgia that people have for the ride because, you know, well, the attraction, sorry, because I do for a lot of rides back home, you know. Exactly, so we can understand, really. Yeah, it'd be kind of like a big change coming to something really classic back home, it wouldn't it, you know, for us. So I can completely understand. However, I am really excited uh, for Dancer Macabre. I think it's going to be a great attraction built by Intamin, keeping that soundtrack. And uh, yeah, it's going to be open on this site in 2024. So I'm looking forward to coming and seeing it. So right next door to where the new ride's been built, you've also got another indoor attraction here called Fabula. And yeah, it's a 4D cinema. But of course, great to come in here when it's really cold outside. But yeah, it's not too bad, the 4D film. I'm not a massive fan of 4D cinemas normally. But yeah, it's pretty good. And also you exit into this lovely restaurant just here as well, which is beautiful. All the animal animatronics around here. A bit of play equipment in here for the kids as well. Yeah, just thought I'd show you how well themed it is in here actually. The big waterfall over here as well. Yeah, it's really nice in here. Big polar bear just up there. <laughs> yeah, it's also a restaurant in here as well. Yeah, that's the thing, these indoor spaces like this are really important, especially when it's so cold. Back outside then now, and of course, coming towards the end of our final day here at the Efteling in the Netherlands. And yeah, just thought I'd show you once again where the hotel is going to be built. Big year 2024 with Dance Macabre and also the Efteling Grand. But yeah, this is where the walkway is going to be, straight down here. And just thought I'd show you this little setup that we've got here with some nice concept arts. You can see just on there, there you go. So there's a look at the hotel with Aquanora just there as well. And obviously we're kind of to the right of that image at the moment. And yeah, you're going to be able to walk under the hotel back down to the entrance. Yeah, it's going to be really nice. Now the new hotel is set to be built across seven floors. It will have 143 rooms, along with a restaurant, a souvenir shop, and also as well, a swimming pool. So yeah, that's going to be nice, because the only accommodation here that's got a pool at the moment is where we've been staying at the Bozarak village. Uh, the actual Efteling Hotel and the other village doesn't feature a pool. So yeah, it'd be nice to have another one. We will definitely come and stay there in 2024, looking out over the lake at night towards Fata Morgana, all the lights. It's going to be beautiful. Here we go then, on board Gondoletta. We've got a whole boat to ourselves just here. 
So we can sit back, relax, and take it all in. Like I said, there's not really theming to look at on this. However, uh, it's a very special ride because obviously they built this as kind of like a prototype version of what would become Fata Morgana, the dark ride. It runs on the same type of system. Obviously, Fata Morgana bigger boats on there and it's indoors as a dark ride but yeah they kind of utilize the same system as this so yeah they built this first but i tell you what it's lovely really relaxing it's better on a nice summer's day just to chill out on here but yeah you do get some great views of baron 1898 as well when we get later throughout this and obviously you can come on here have a bit of a chill out and see the birds <laughs> whoa that's as thrilling as it gets we're being approached by this very large swan just here, and if he doesn't move, we're going to bash into him. Oh, oh! Look at the manoeuvre just there. What a swan! Oh, he's gone. I oh, know he's there. I'm quite scared <laughs> of swans, to be honest. What? You don't like swans? You don't see all the wildlife on here. Oh, and the best part of your ride here on Gondoletta is the epic view of Baron 1898. Achten, achten, There she comes. Looks really nice from here on the water. Very different perspective looking at the parks. BM dive coaster. You get to appreciate it in all its splendour. Lovely ride, it really is. Well, we just had our final ride here at Efteling and our final ride of the trip. And that is, of course, Baron 1898. We've had a nice ride on there after a lovely few days here at Efteling. Oh, really, nice. really magical. I know you've not been feeling very well, but the most of it. you've powered on Definitely. and we've still had a really nice time. And in a way, it's meant that we've seen a lot more of our accommodation here it's this time. Really nice. It's been lovely staying there. Yeah, staying on site and obviously with Charlotte being pulled, it's meant that we could just go back for a little bit in the afternoon and yeah, stuff, nice. you know. Yeah, you've been able to have a bit of a chill out, haven't you? You know, as I don't think, if we weren't staying on site, I don't think you would have been able to power on like you have, um, to be honest, yeah. But uh, honestly, it's been so nice getting back here to this park, making our way now over here to the exit. And of course, the end of our trip, we're traveling back home, back to London tonight. And of course, back to base at Theme Park Worldwide HQ. But yeah, until next time, it's goodbye Efteling. It's been lovely getting back here. I've really enjoyed it. We are then after an absolutely awesome day down here at the exit to the park with the stunning entrance building. I mean, it's one of the best entrances ever to a park. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, really nice, and even better at night because it all twinkles, all the lights on there as well. Stunning, it really is. Well, what another day, great day out of this yeah, park. It's been a great day today. Yeah, we've got loads of other rides in. It's been nice to get some re rides in as well. I've enjoyed doing things like the train, the Efteling Museum. Uh, it's nice been doing some of the other attractions that we've got at this park because there's so much here away from them big standout attractions. And then, of course, you got the fairy tale forest as oh, well. Oh, it's so good in there. Yeah, it's really nice. We enjoyed the fairy tale forest. Just relaxing, walk around there for 90 minutes or so, taking it all in. And you can spend all day in there if you really, really wanted. Could. Like, it's a massive area. Um, yeah, of course, we've been back on Baron, Symbolica, Fat Morgana, Vogel Rock. Loads of re rides today as well. Considering it's been the weekend, it's not been too busy no, today. It's not been too bad, actually. Which has been uh, fantastic. But uh, there we go. Honestly, it's always a pleasure to get back here to the Netherlands. Just a short few days we've had here this time but I'm sure next year we'll come and do some other parks in the oh, Netherlands again. I'm sure we will. We're long overdue visits to like Toverland, they've got new rides next mm -hmm. year, Wallaby Holland and some other parks as well. Maybe some more new bits for us to see so stay tuned for that uh, as we move into 2023. Um, but yeah really exciting time for this park as well because 2024 the new hotel in fact we're right next to this pig just here, there he is, <laughs> he's working hard on building it. Uh, the Efteling Grand, cannot wait to stay there uh, and it's only a couple of years away really now until that's ready. That. And then along with
with that, of course, uh, Dance Macabre. I think that would be another great addition to this park, and I'm very excited for that. So it's a very exciting time for uh, Efteling, and of course, uh, we look forward to returning again. It's been so nice getting here, and a lovely little behind the scenes was great yesterday. Oh, that was really On Barrow, nice. that was really special. Like, there were little moments like that. It's a really friendly park. I just want to say as well, in terms of international visits, other than Disneyland Paris, I'd say this is the best park in Europe for international visitors. 100%. Um, like, all the different languages, they've got everything in English here as well, the announcements. It really makes um, it. Yeah, it's great, it really is. Obviously, they're really trying to get people to come over from the UK. They advertise back in London now. Yeah, they do. They've been advertised on, like, buses and stuff. Yeah, they also know it's, like, on social media sites, like yeah. Facebook. There's a lot of F-telling adverts, so they're clearly trying to appeal to international visits. I think that's another reason why they're building this spectacular new hotel, and I look forward to seeing what they do here in the future. Uh, but thanks for joining us on this Thank trip. So uh, thanks for staying by us, obviously, with Charlotte being ill as well. I've been trying my best. Not been on full form, but uh, you know what? You're feeling a little bit better now. Yeah, which is uh, we've got a good few days to recover before we're doing anything else back yes, home as well. Nice. Um, but uh, thank you so much thank for uh, watching Theme Park Worldwide. Join us on this amazing trip. Check out the playlist if you haven't already seen it. Europa Park, Fantasialand, and of course here at Efteling. But we'll see you back in the UK. It's nearly Christmas time. I know it is. Oh, just around the corner. And uh, that leaves with one final thing to say. Get, Get out there and keep on riding. We'll see you all back in the UK.